In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a song using GarageBand on your iPad, but doing it using a metronome and doing it as a multi-track recording. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to record the song Amazing Grace using a guitar and a vocal track, but separate tracks. So let's create a new song. And we're going to use the voice recorder for both of these because we're using the external mic on the iPad to record both vocal and guitar. Okay, so let's set this up though. We've got to do a couple things. First of all, let's go to the settings. Okay, the metronome, the count in are on. Let's figure out what the tempo is that we need. Amazing Grace is about Okay, so let's let's say 76 beats a minute. Let's give that a whirl, see if we like that. Uh, time signature is going to be 3-4. Okay, Amazing Grace is in 3-4 time. Okay, looks good so far. We need to change one more thing. We need to uh, hit this plus sign. You'll see that there's eight bars here. That's the default length of a section in iTunes is eight bars. We're going to hit the plus sign because we don't want that. We're not doing a loop here. We're just recording a song. So we're going to hit section A. We're going to turn automatic to AW. I'm sorry, to on, so that we're not confined to just eight bars or anything like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, put on our headphones. Got a set of headphones I'm putting on here. And I'm going to plug the headphones into the iPad so that I hear the metronome or the click track, and I can play along with it. And so I'll hear that in my headphones, but it will only record the sound of the guitars I play. So let's do the guitar first. Okay, it's going to give me a lead in three clicks, and then I'm going to play uh, the song as I want to. So here we go. Let's see if we like what we recorded. Let me take the headphone jack out so we can listen to it. Okay, good enough. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put the headphone jack back in. I'm going to create a new track for the vocal track. Let's go here. Okay, and so this is the guitar track on top, this is the vocal track on the bottom, this is what I'm going to record. So I'm going to record this and in the headphones I'm going to hear the metronome and the guitar track I just recorded and I'm going to sing along with that but the iPad on GarageBand is only going to record my vocal. So here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found was blind but now I see okay now as you can see here you've got some different effects you can apply to the track as well we're not gonna mess with those right now okay let's see what we got here uh, let's turn the metronome off count it off because we've already recorded we don't need those any longer let's see what we got
Okay. Sounds okay. The vocal track leaves a little to be desired, I'll confess, but uh, you get the basic point of this. Okay, now, as you're listening to this, you can mute uh, either of these if you want to. Or adjust the volume. Okay, you get the idea. When you're happy with that, you can give the song a title. Let's call it Amazing Grace. Let's say multi track. Okay, you can save that. And then you can export the song if you want to. So hit edit, click the song. You can send it to Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want to do with it. You can email it to yourself. Let's say we want to do that. You can flood this information. And GarageBand is going to take a few seconds to turn it into an M4A file rather than a GarageBand file. Okay, and you can email this to yourself or do whatever you like with it. So that's how you create a multi-track recording in GarageBand. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful to you.